fellow brothers and sisters, there is no Bible verses as strong and powerful and direct like these two Bible verses I'll give you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15, and Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 and 23. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15 says, If you forgive people their sins, God will forgive you. And if you do not forgive people their sins, God will not forgive you. That is so direct and strong and dangerous. Why? Because the reason why Christ came was to die for the forgiveness of sins. So if Jesus can forgive you, why is it so hard for you not to forgive others? That means that when you don't forgive others, your sins remain. And if Jesus comes and you still carry on forgiveness in your heart, you will not go to heaven because you still carry your sins. Unforgiveness is so powerful. And the only medicine for unforgiveness is forgiveness. It doesn't matter how hurt you are. It doesn't matter if someone has hurt you. You must forgive. If you have unforgiveness in your heart and you pray and you call yourself a Christian, your sins still remain. The devil has the right, the license to come and mess with your life because you have unforgiveness. It is that simple. Forgive and God will forgive you. And if you don't forgive, God will not forgive you. So if you have unforgiveness in your heart and you say it's so hard for me to forgive, it's the same how hard it is for God to forgive you. So you must forgive. This is the, third, the second Bible verse. Like I said, there are two Bible verses that are very scary. That was the first one. The second one, I shall read. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. This Bible verse is not to be joked on. This is very powerful and strong and precise. When I read this two, three years ago, and I continued to read it. And I made it, I said, wow, this is a very powerful verse. The Lord will give me a revelation to this. And listen, I'll read it from, the, from, from this one. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? And in your name drive out demons and perform miracles, many miracles. Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Oh my goodness. That's very painful. Let me tell you the revelation behind this Bible verse. It's simple. A relationship with Jesus. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, how will you know him? How? He's saying that, some of you that go to church, talk about Jesus, preach, prophesy, do miracles, pray with your lips, with your mind. Talk about God all the time. But you don't have a close relationship with Him. The Bible says, draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. You're supposed to have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. The will of the Father is for you to know Jesus, your Savior. To seek Him honestly. To have Him as your first lover. To be the first in your heart. When you wake up in the morning, every time. This is the one that died for you. That saved your soul. That is very scary that Jesus on that day said, On that day, Jesus said, I don't know you. He said, Lord, what happened? I was saved. I, was, I believed. No, you don't have a relationship with Jesus. You are praying and asking for gifts. Bless me, Lord. Give me financial breakthrough. Bless me, bless me. And when God blesses you, you run away. You have no relationship with Christ. You are empty. You must have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And a relationship with Jesus Christ started with His Word. Most Christians don't read the Word of God. They don't meditate on it. They don't have a passion and hunger for the Word of God. They don't read it. They don't pray. <laughs> I mean, how can you possibly say you know Jesus Christ and you don't know about his word? This is a navigation. A chair that is fixed come with direction. 
This is your direction. This is what this is what tells you about who you are in Christ, in God, is the word of God. You speak so many words a day to people, to friends, a job. But you cannot use your words and speak to God just to thank Him, to worship Him, to praise Him. To say, Lord, I need you more than ever before. Please give me a hunger, a passion to know you more. I am hungry. I don't want to be empty. I don't want to be filled with religion and tradition. I want to be filled with the love of God. I want to pray for my family and nation, for the lost. I want to be used. Lord, I have all these goods. I have all these clothes. I have all this money. I want to give it for your work. I want to support the ministry. I want to use it for your gospel. Lord, I want to know you more. I mean, you just seek God and you just cry to him. And you say, Lord... You died for my sins, and I don't know you. I want to know you more, Lord Jesus. Please give me the hunger to seek you, to praise you, to thank you, to know who you are by your word. Because the righteousness of God is the word of God. You, you have the word of God in your heart. Then you can be able to live life according to his works. On that day, don't be the one that Jesus said, I don't know you. You think going to church will save you, the church did not die for you. Your pastor didn't die for you. People ask me all the time to pray for them. And my prayer is that God, please give them a hunger to pray to you. <laughs> you must be able to pray from your heart and seek God and thank Him. This is something that you must do personally. That's why it's called your personal Savior. He's the one that left heaven and came down and suffered and was, went to all kind of hell. Something that you were supposed to face to go to hell. But he took that away from you. So that you can know him. Christians wake up. This is the most scary Bible verse. Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 to 23. When Jesus he said, get away from me you evil doers. My goodness. That means that a person without a relationship with Jesus Christ, that's evil. Brothers, wake up. Stop seeking for other people to lead you to Christ. Lead yourself to Christ by His Spirit. I myself, I had to pray. God, give me wisdom. Give me knowledge. Give me understanding. Give me revelation. Give me dreams. Give me vision. Give me a hunger, a thirst for your word. To know you more. To walk in your righteousness. To be like you. To walk like you. To speak like you. To love. To forgive. Wash me. Empty me. Fill me with your spirit. Lord, I cry out to you. I mean, I used to cry to God day and night. And I still do. And I seek him. I worship him. I praise him. I don't let nothing stop me. Because I love Jesus. Do you love Jesus? Have a relationship with him. Shalom.